Hello everyone, it's Wowsly. I never fully boil the kettle and I probably put too much milk in. But that's because I like to drink my coffee straight away. I hate making a coffee and waiting like an hour for the cool down. Right. I made a coffee. So we must be making something. Ugh. We're in the living room again because we have no other space to work in. So the living room floor is going to get it today. Um, right, rush job. Past couple of weeks I've been wanting to reuse this box. It's an old film house film reel from back in the day. Clapham film house, I think it was. I used it once for Radio Go case. I put CB radios in there. Clapham picture house. And then um, after I had a couple of CBs in there, I had, uh, it was quite cool because it had a um, socket on the side here for the solar panel, two on the side there, so I could use it as a solar generator. I had a small 18 amp hour battery in there, a uh, little charge controller. I think I had it here, charge controller and a couple of switches, a couple of little voltmeters. It looked right, it kind of worked, but um, yeah, it was a big box for a small battery. And it's Tuesday, and Friday morning I've got to leave. Shout out to CTX. Um, yeah, Friday morning I've got to leave to go to well, on the border of South Wales, Camp Shaky, and I've got no power. All my solar stuff is in here. <laughs> I've even pulled all the wires out. So I've got to get this done. I've got enough stuff to get it done. I've got everything I need in this box. So I should have this done in about an hour or two. Hopefully I'm going to get this little inverter in there and then I got some crimpers fuse box fuses a load of these 12 volt and USB and one of those I'm just waffling oh, and I still haven't used that yet it's a 12 volt remote relay switch so I can install it to a light and use a key fob to turn it on and off there's nothing wrong with being lazy. More of those, some of those, a couple of those. Bus bar for negative. Another one of those. Oh, we're going to use that. Go on that side. Get rid of all the fiddly bits of shit. I need. Right, the plan is on the rear, I've got two sockets already. Uh, they're drilled out to fit these ones. Sure shit. So I'm going to use both of them for solar panel going in. Well, I'm going to have one connected to the battery. So I can charge it from the mains on the trickle charger and then the other one for the solar panel. And on this side, that is also too small for these. Um, so I'm going to drill uh, five, four, five in total, 40, four more. One, two, three, four. And I'm going to get 12 volt socket, USB, USB, 12 volt socket in here. And then volt meter at the top. So... Um, that's my power outside and the inverter is going to go inside because I hardly ever use an inverter this is mainly for camping by the way camping and radio stuff um, so I'm going to make a little shelf because I've even kept the last leftover bit of wood from ages ago that I've used in there I think so that's going to go in there I don't know somehow some way we'll get the inverter on there and I'm going to use that charge controller because I don't know where the other one is I had it the other day these are crap I'm like totally out of cigars. Um, yeah, that's just me waffling, um, really. So let's get on. Hey, yeah, so I've just drawn out three more. Put in a 12 volt socket there, a USB there. It needs a good dusting. It was clean. It's just this is from drilling all this stuff. So it looks really dusty. But um, yeah, 12 volt there, USB there. And then I'm going to have a USB, a 12 volt USB socket there. But behind here, I've got a remote 12 volt relay switch. So I can use a key fob to turn these sockets on and off. Which will be great for lights, um, security, camping, stroke laziness. And if you hear a noise at night, you can push the button. Lights will come on if they're plugged into there. And when you go into bed, you know, you'd have to climb into bed with a torch. Just climb into bed, push the button, lights go out. Or the fridge or whatever's plugged in there. Um, 
I'm a 12 watt timer, not sure where that's going to go, or the controller. It'd be nice to have the timer on here for a separate socket. And then um, have the fridge on there. But at the moment it's a rush job. I'm not even going to bother with an inverter. The inverter can stay there. Um, these are low ampage sockets, but um, you know my panel only puts out like three amps on a good day. Um, and it's like a 500 milliamp charger for the bottom one. And these are all going to be 12 volt sockets are going to be 10 amp fused. And then I'll probably put a 3 amp on the on the USBs. Only because I've tried, probably had in the past, I had a 2 amp fuse on these. And then when I had my phone plugged in there, and then I plug an LED light in, the fuse pops. I've done that a few times with a 2 amp, so I'm going to have to put 3 amp fuses in there. Or just use one at a time. Uh, one at a time is probably a safer option. Well, uh, this is some messy video in today, but hey, we're in a rush. Right, sockets are in. I still need to drill out and get the voltmeter in there. Base is somewhere in the middle. Um, I've got a battery isolator, well, a trip switch for the battery, breaker switch. I'm going to use it for the main isolator, wired straight to the battery before the charge controller, and that's going to be at the rear, below the uh, lid at the back, so I need to shut the power off if I can with the lid closed. And I've just bodged up this shelf because I've been trying to work out where to put the charge controller, and I've just measured the height of it. So when the battery's in there, it's going to lay flat, and the charge controller can go on it. And my bus bars and my fuse box can sit underneath this, in the space below there. So that can go on there. So in the box, I can always see what's coming in and out. And if I ever want to, I can lift it, stand it upright, and I can see. Not sure how well it's going to perform, <laughs> like I said. <laughs> We're in a rush, but yeah, I measured... Well, I measured by putting a bit of, bit of wood in, against the battery and then went, yeah, a bit of wood and a bit more. So um, that might be mismeasured. <laughs> but it's functional. <laughs> um, uh, no expense spare. It's a scrap bit of wood with pre-drawn holes from something else. Oh, my days. Well, as long as it works for the weekend, I can tidy it up after the weekend when I get back. And it should be a nice contained little unit. Yeah, we just we will keep the lid shut so no one can see inside. Well, this is going well. Um, got the charge controller in. Just wired up one socket at the rear out of the two for solar power in. That's hooked up there. Um, it's quarter to two. I've got to leave about half past two, so I've got forty-five minutes to get this done. Um. Basic tools, literally a pen knife and a multi-tool and like a little pen screwdriver thing with adjustable tips. Um, the, the pen knife is to also take the insulation off the wire and then the multi-tool is for crimping the uh, connectors and the screwdriver is for um, that and screwing components down and so forth and so on. Total bodge up, but just goes to show you don't need a lot of experience, you don't need any heavy tools. Yeah, I've got a drill there, obviously, to drill out the holes for the sockets. But uh, you know, no major massive like ingenuity is going into this. Um, voltmeter there, a lot of people are scared of things like this. This was like £3.50, it's a basic one, I'm not even, not even using it. Um, yeah, if you are thinking about doing this, like I said before. It's this simple, you've got two wires, red and black, everything says plus and minus. Solar panel, power and loads, there's little pictures. As long as you put a fuse in everything, you can do it that way. Or you can get, this was about a tenner. One of these. It's dead simple, just get yourself some fuses, some crimp connectors. And give yourself more than 45 minutes. <laughs> I need Cal Vold of Alderman now to start the countdown clock. Right, I'm going to get on because I am running out of time. Right, we've got the light on for this and we're going to go upside down. Everything's all um, wired in. I'm not wiring up the two sockets on the right. Like I said they're going to go to a remote switch which will house the switch on the back of this panel here. Um, yeah, I'm going to wire them up at a later date with this camping trip. I'm just going to need the two USBs and the 12 volt socket at the bottom. 
Uh, I've got a small folding solar panel, which I'm going to be charging up mobile devices with anyway. This is just for the sake of it. Um, yeah, so the wiring's done. Now I've just got to put in a fuse box and a bus bar, connect the negative and positive from all those wires down there into the bus bars, and then go into the load. Hook up the battery and we're done. But yeah, if people keep wondering why I keep doing this, it's because your solar system needs to fit your specific needs. So many people are asking or trying to copy others. And it's all right to say, yeah, build this. But your needs might be different. Like when it was on there, I had it screwed to the back of the inside of my van, my old van, which is great. Um, for, well, I used my old van for portable radio and camping. Um, but I used to have it on a big board on the side of my shed, inside, when my shack was, radios were in the shed. And now I'm going camping, I need something a bit more durable than just an exposed board. So I think it's going in the case and this can live in the boot. And then I can just, I won't type any space, it's not going to be that wide in the boot. So I can plug all my devices in there and still have my boot free for cooking and whatever I'm going to do in the boat. Or radio. Um, so yeah, you, you, the reason your needs are different for every every user, basically, anyone that uses solar it primarily, primarily, blah, 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 primarily does the same thing. The building system, the power stuff. Um, but they are always going to be different. Hardly any two systems are going to look the same, especially when it's DIY and especially when you're making it out of bits and pieces of junk. But um, yeah, I'm going to get on it, get this done. So should you. Yep, mess up number one. Uh, got the battery in. Use scrap bits of wood to space it out. Again, no expenses spared quality build and all that and have a bit of scrap wood down the bottom of there so the battery won't slide around but uh when i measured it with my measuring stick this is why you measure twice and go once and use proper tape measures or measuring tapes um i measured it to like the lip of the battery it didn't go all the way to the top or the other centimeter for this so now the f this won't stand up and it won't play flat because it's catching on there which is fine because it's a nice angle to be at and it still clears the lid but I'm going to um, remove my pivot screw hinge things from the sides and um, just raise that a couple of centimetres so it will lay down flat. Then obviously um, it will cover the positive terminal. Then I can put crap like this, the fan and stuff in the top of the box and probably still have room to whack the inverter um, on the lid at some point. So if I do want to use it because it's got to be vented, I have to open the lid to use the inverter. But I said I don't need the inverter this weekend, it's not going in there. But uh, yeah, got to raise that and then get the bus bar and fuse box in. Yeah, only small minor problems, no major. But um, yeah, whoops. Well, basically we're all done. Uh, the bus bar's in and the blade fuse box is in. Um, problem is these are Allen key fittings and so is that. And I haven't quite worked out for the battery isolator there or at the back or whatever. No. Um, so I need to nip down to the shed and grab my Allen keys. And then I can finish getting these sockets in there, hook up the battery, and we're done. Um, that should all work. Right, it's 20 past two. I've got to leave for work in 10 minutes, but we're done. I uh, went down and got an Allen key to put these in, realised that the positive wires that I've made for the two sockets on the bottom um, weren't long enough because the shelf was measured originally to be further down and I meant to have this on the left hand side so the wires now to be about an inch longer so instead of lengthening the entire length of the wire with a fresh bit of wire <laughs> I just added on um, two or three inches with block connectors very crudely done, I know, but it works. Got a 2 amp in there for the USB, 10 amp for the 12 volt socket. And these two are empty, but I've I've just put spare fuses in there. I thought, where else, you know, best place to put them. This case here with random fuses from the radios and solar stuff is going to be dropped in the back of here anyway. But um, I haven't got the remote switch wired up for those. Uh, where's my keys? Oh, my keys are downstairs. Oh, it's just got a key fob. So I'm going to screw that in and wired up at a later date like i said i'm in a rush i need it done for this weekend that's got a 10 amp fuse and that's going straight to the battery terminal 
on here so I should get a reading on there roughly to what that says on there and at the moment I'm just going to clip it to the battery just to get it all working and then get this on because this is Allen key fitting as well um, tonight after work the main thing is I wanted to get it plumbed in and wise and working so I'm just going to quickly pause you and then unpause you and as if by magic Crop clips are now on, so this should be right up. Oh, we've got a fault. I think the fuse is gone on that. Right, USBs are working. Um, battery, everything's showing fine on there. Um, but I am going to pause it quickly because I need two hands to get in there and work out why this isn't working. I need to get my hand in there um, to get that working. Just pause it and unpause. Ta da! No idea what's not working. The fuse looks like it's fine, it hasn't blown. Might put a 10 amp in there. The wire seems to be alright. Uh, must be a fault with the actual thing. But we'll play with that later because um, I'm technically finished. Um, I've got to go to work. I don't do being late. Um, but that's it. Got to tidy up, quickly throw everything back in this box and. Get out of the way. Let's try this out first. I've got a number of lights and lamps. That's working. That's working. I presume that one's working. I don't even think this is going to show up. I hate poking wires. <laughs> It's, it's got to be done. I've got to, the proof is in the pudding, as they say, isn't it? And I can't say it's working. People are going to doubt me. I certainly doubt me when I blow it. I'm going to get a little shock of this in a second. Damn it, stay there. You use this bit of stuff. Can we see that on screen? No, see, I'm only doing this for the haters and people that say, oh, it don't work, blah, blah, blah. Um. Plus in 12.32 showing up there. Probably was off camera, but hey, <laughs> oh well. Right, it's the idea that can slide in the boat, foot went off the car, um, it's fully portable. Yeah, I'm not entirely sure where I want to get the battery cutout switch, if I want it there or around the rear, so I'm going to work on that while I'm at work today and fit it tonight. Um, Two of the sockets are working, that's temporarily not working, but it's fine because I've got that in there. Um, now I can make a shelf, or I might make or build a box to go in there, just to put handy things like USB leads and sockets and lights and chargers. I want a few bits and pieces like that in the box, so I'll just get some Tupperware to sit on top. The inverter does actually fit down that gap there, I've already done that. Um, but yeah, and also, yeah, the cover's on now. I can stand that upright if it is on a table, and I can see that anyway. Ta-da! Another bodge up. Rushed, what was that? 45 minutes exactly to build it. Frickin' Jesus, right, I'm off, I'm late for work. Well, <laughs> it will be in a minute. Thanks for watching, I'm Wow Sly. We'll do another preview video in a day or two when I've got that socket working and battery cut out breaker on there and um yeah if you want to see it working check it out when i'm in camp shaky on the weekend uh friday saturday and sunday in south wales well on the border should be nice and cold camp um and this is pretty much going to live in the car now or van whatever it is right basically just a box of death. Catch you on the next video.